Ike? We have it just for one more day, Amira, and then things are really going to change. We'll go into one of those season swings, the classic scenario for Michigan, that is, with temperatures going from the 80s down into the 60s and then so forth and so on. So I'll show you that seven day in just a moment. Right now, the clouds are starting to increase a little bit. Uh, there's an area of low pressure and a stationary boundary that's firing up some showers and some thunderstorms. Most of this is mainly for the UP and it's touching areas like Alpena and Traverse City and also Sault Ste. Marie, but it's just increasing our clouds for now. The winds are picking up a little bit. You'll even see a few of the clouds popping up there, but numbers primarily are in the 70s for most of us, with the exception of a few spots like Port Huron. So it still feels comfortable out there. Downtown Detroit, we're at 71. Pine at 72 and Adrian at 71 degrees. So taking you outside, it looks nice. It's a quiet night. Climbed up to a high temperature of 82 degrees. This morning we were at 57. Notice the recent record for today, 93. That was set back in 2017. So we've had some 90s and even some 80s. So we've been warm this time of year, but we're not going to be that hot tomorrow, but still it's going to feel like summer. 71, but the dew points climbing is at 60. So that's that tropical air mass that you can kind of feel when you step outside. It's not over the top, but you will notice the humidity in the atmosphere and that's going to keep our temperatures up a little bit for tonight. So when is the last 80 degree day? Well, a year ago it was October 1st. It looks like this will be our last one for a while, so just a week shy, but by average averages here, you could see the beginning to middle of October is usually the last time we see uh, that 80 degree day for a high temperature. So pretty close to on time, but just a touch early. Uh, temps are going to be in the 60s for tonight, 65 in Detroit for the low, 63 in Lapeer, Port Huron at 63, and also Howell, you're going to be in the uh, low 60s as well. Clear skies. As we jump in ahead into the day tomorrow, a bright start. Clouds will be increasing through the afternoon into the evening. 80 degrees would be the high temp, about a 20% chance of rain. I'm thinking most of that arrives for Sunday late night, maybe the evening to late night. And then it looks like there's a better opportunity to see some rain on Monday and will be mostly cloudy too. That's why the temperatures will be about 20 degrees cooler than they were today. And this pattern stays with us for a good chunk of the seven day forecast. Upper level area of low pressure will keep us in constant play for clouds and also showers as more areas of low pressure and even a cold front moves in in the days ahead. So the seven day forecast has 80 on Sunday, then down to 63 on Monday, and we never quite get out of the 60s. Our average high this time of year is about 70, so below average just about every single day of the work week, and also a 57 degree high temp for next Friday, and that too will have some rain. So another nice day in store for you on Sunday. But starting Monday, that's when the rain moves in. Weather app will have you covered. You can track not only the cooling down of the temperatures, but also the rain with the radar that you can control. It's free and you have Storm Shield as an option.